Okay, so here we have the trencher. So let's go over some of the main design features. If I can navigate around. So we have dual drive with the two universal rotors, one on each side. We've got the nice five, in, five foot cutting wheel with removable teeth. The teeth can be adjusted such that you can put these on which are narrow but staggered to give you a one and a half inch cut width. We can add or mount wider teeth or space them out more depending on what we need to, to cut a trench that may be like say six inches, in which case actually this guard here would have to be wider. But for now, we're concerned about a narrow cut where we lay pipe right behind it so actually in this we, we don't show this in the image but here we have a chute where the the tubing or met or wire is inserted right after the hole is dug because if it's very narrow like one and a half inches it has a chance of collapsing so this chute that goes pretty much down three feet will be used to deposit the tubing say say water pipe one inch water pipe right behind we have these support structures here to hold to just reinforce the structure, uh, this entire structure will weigh about 1,200 pounds, about 600 kilos. So it's quite heavy and that's why you want to have these supports here. We have a safety guard here so that somebody can't fall in there and get chopped up. Here's the platform where actually a person will stand or sit and feed the tubing or wire manually. In the first implementation, we're going to have a person on top here instead of a roll. We'll, 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 have, a roll, we'll have a roll holder, but here we will... Uh, assist the tube or wire going down until we test out how this actually works. And this is mounted on the front of a tractor for heavy duty application of 54 horsepower driving this this cutter wheel and another 27 horsepower driving the wheels of the tractor. So this would be life track with three power cubes running this trencher to dig a 500 foot trench to the micro house from the hab lab here. So that's the application right now. We're designing that. We're hoping to build that within the next few days. That's it.